Hey everybody, happy Monday. I am here with April Merritt, Hello. our wonderful digital productivity guru here at the Hera Hub Mission Valley location. Today, in case you didn't know, is National Clean Out Your Computer Day. So that's kind of a daunting topic. So I wanted to bring in April to kind of dialogue, how do you even get started with cleaning out your computer? And kind of go through some of the benefits of why would you even want to make this part of your routine and your process going through your files and just making the system a little cleaner. So I'm gonna let April take it away. So what are the benefits of actually organizing your computer? Okay, so cleaning out your computer, there's really a couple different things that come about because of that. So having a nice clean computer, getting rid of those duplicate files, part of what that may cause is your computer to run faster. So things are a little speedier, a little snappier because it doesn't have to sort through all that junk. Um, along the same way, you may run faster because you can find what you need quickly and so you're spending less time looking for stuff and more time actually doing your business. Awesome. Those are great tips. The benefits of cleaning out your computer. Okay, so this is kind of a huge task to accomplish. I know for myself it is. Just thinking about how do you even approach getting started of, of organizing your computer. Computer, what would you say are the first steps towards getting this done? So when you're thinking about getting getting ready to clean up your computer, kind of the first thing I recommend people to do is get all your like files together. Okay, so if you have documents on your desktop, documents in your picture folder, documents somewhere else on a USB drive that you carry around, get everybody together in one spot. So all under the documents folder, all under the pictures folder, all under the videos. And that way you've got them all together, so then you can start looking at them and seeing what do I need to do. And don't forget, grab the downloads folder and all that stuff you keep in there, mm -hmm. get it out of the downloads folder and put it where it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. I know we were talking a little bit earlier, um, like you can delete some of those files, the EXE files that you might have in your downloads folder. Um, but getting all of the like items into one place is a good place to start. And then what do you do after you get all of the items in one place? You have all of your pictures in the picture, uh, all of your pictures, all of your documents in one folder, all of your pictures in one folder. What's next? Kind of the next best thing that I talk to people about is duplicate finders. Okay, because what are the chances that you have four or five copies of a very similar item? Uh, pictures especially, if we're bringing those in for our phones you may have five or six copies of a particular item. So a good thing to look at is software called Duplicate Finders, and there's different ones for Mac, different ones for PC, but they all do the same thing. They scan through your system and they find things that look like each other or things that are a similar size, similar name, and then they bring them all up and you have to say yes, no, yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Um, to kind of help you decide what stays and what goes, but you don't have to look for them. And we're actually going to be linking all of the the, um, the best duplicate finders that you can get. I've got a couple of them right here. If you are on a Mac or a PC, you can use either of these, but it's called ESET Antivirus, E-S-E-T, and there's a paid version. Um, that one's a paid one. Is that correct? Um, ESET's going to be antivirus, which and, I forgot oh. to tell you. Before you get started, do a quick antivirus right. check, spyware check, because let's get all that junk out of there, and then it'll be easier to look through other stuff. I jumped the gun a little bit. Where if you haven't, if you have no idea what kind of antivirus to use, we've got a couple options for you. But we're talking about duplicate checkers right now. So the ones that you can use, the best free version for Windows uh, PC, there is one called Duplicate Files Finder. And because that's such a common name, we'll definitely link that in the notes. Um, there is one specifically for Mac called Gemini, like the astrological sign, Gemini 2. Um, that is a cost one. It's going to be about 20 bucks. So it's good to have if you're going to continuously do this or you have a huge amount of folders to do. Um, there is a free version called Dupe Guru, all one word, D-U-P-E-G-U-R-U. Um, Dupe Guru has a current version for Mac. It does not have a current version for Windows, but there's an old Windows 7 version, which probably should work. Don't quote me, but it probably should work. Um, and that's a free one as well. 
Awesome. So we've duplicated all of our files. We have our, we have not duplicated our files. We have ran a duplicate checker and gotten rid of, gotten rid of a lot of the duplicates. What do we do now that we have gotten down to the main bones of the files what we want to keep? So you got everything together. You ran the duplicate checker. We got ourselves down to a nice thin files that you want to keep files that you're going to be using. And as long as you don't let yourself get caught going through them and reading everything, which I've heard some people do, um, go through and get some good naming. Sometimes we save documents as new document, new document number seven. Tells you absolutely nothing about what's in there. Yeah. So go through and look, give it an appropriate name, give it a name that lets you find it easily. Don't call it car manual 2017 when you're going to look for Toyota. Um, because searching is an easy way to find a lot of documents and so part of that is good names and names that let you find stuff easily make sure you include dates if it's something that changes every year awesome um, another big thing that April and I, I were talking about earlier is when you come when you go to approach this whole cleaning out your computer thing the biggest thing is figuring out how you want to structure and organize everything so kind of give us a high level View you. of what that is. So when we talk about how you're structuring your files, we could go on for hours and hours and hours. But the short answer is think about how you're going to look for things and think about how much you have. Okay, so if you have a folder of documents and you have seven million documents in there and when you go to look for something you can't find it because there's so many, now it might be time to pull out a subfolder of things that are specific to your business or things that are specific to uh, Facebook and social media. Make sure there's a folder that has more than two items. Don't make one folder for one thing. <laughs> but when the folder gets too big to find what you need, break off a second folder. Um, and a lot of people separate work from personal. And that's always a good place to start. Awesome. This is super helpful um, in anybody who is really dreading tackling cleaning out your computer it's always a good always a good thing to do to clean out make your computer run faster um april is an expert in all things digital organization and she actually has guru hours um in mission valley weekly on thursdays from two to four um it's open to the public it's open to hair hub members but feel free to come and talk to her and she can answer some of your specific questions on how to set up these structures and you know she has an, a lot of other tools that she can help give you yep. um, so that you can get this done and kind of one last thing to think about and this is this is true for organizing anything but especially with your computer you don't have to do all of it at one time okay start with the downloads folder take five minutes go through that folder clean stuff up move to the right place and maybe tomorrow or the next day look at the stuff on your desktop get all that scooched over to the right place and eventually when it's all over there run the duplicate checker, walk away, have lunch, um, and when it's done, then let's go back, eh, maybe another day, let's go through and look at our files and rename them. So chip away at it and don't stress about doing everything at the same time. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, April. Thank you. Um, come see April on Thursday. She'll be here from 2 to 4 in Mission Valley, but we hope you found this helpful.